Hi, Tim McShane here for the BCMA, and welcome to our series on collections management. In this episode, we're going to be looking at some ways to protect artifacts from light damage. The key thing about light damage is that it's, it's cumulative and it's irreversible, and there is no such thing as good light. If you can see an object, light is damaging it in some way. And this damage will uh, manifest itself as uh, discoloration, uh, usually fading, but, but yellowing as well, um, and it, uh, embrittlement of fibers. Now, not all light is, is created equal, although uh, it, it does all cause damage to some degree, and not all artifact types are as equally susceptible to damage. Uh, some things such as glass and uh, fully glazed ceramics, bare metals, um, stone tools, are largely unaffected by light. Other pieces, such as fabrics, in particular silk and paper, are, are very easily damaged by light. The best way to avoid light damage is to exclude light whenever possible. Uh, some ways of doing this are to uh, just turning off room lights whenever the light uh, room is not being occupied. Uh, another way is to um, block out windows where natural sunlight might be coming through, either by using window blinds or screens or even painting them black. Another way is to box artifacts, where the lids will keep uh, light from, from falling on the artifacts themselves. Where light can't be completely shut out, it can be minimized uh, as to the amount of damage that it does. Ultraviolet light uh, is one of the more damaging components of it. Fluorescent lights uh, put out a lot of it, but that can be minimized by the use of uh, UV uh, filters which are just simple tubes that will slide over top of your UV bulbs and exclude 95 to 99% of ultraviolet light. Uh, the same kind of film can be applied to windows when you do need the natural light to come through but still want to minimize the amount of damage that it can do. Incandescent lighting doesn't contain any UV emissions, um, but in addition to the harmful effects of the visible light, they do produce infrared radiation, and that builds up a lot of heat. Uh, if you've ever changed out a light bulb that's recently burned out in a desk lamp and burned your fingers on it, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, these bulbs are fine to use as long as they're not being used so close to an artifact or in an enclosed space where that heat is going to build up and uh, cause some problems. A recent study by the J. Paul uh, Getty Institute found that uh, LED lights produce neither ultraviolet nor infrared radiation. So they're a viable choice to use when looking at artifacts as well. They can be initially expensive, and sometimes they'll produce a, a bluish tone that may not show your artifacts in the best light. But a lot of work has been done on that in recent years, and they're entirely acceptable for using in uh, work areas or display areas. That's about it for the basics of protecting your artifact collections from light damage. For videos on other collections management topics, see the BCMA website. Thanks.